Hi, welcome back. So, still Qtile, just made a change. I told uh, the system that it should be uh, working with Azerti, not QWERTY. And I'll just show you quickly what that means. Well, first of all, you had all these icons at the top. So I need to log out and log in, and then the icons are back the way it's supposed to be. Now I have these two applications available in my workspace too. And I would say, okay, I would like to have Thunar on a workspace three is this one, where space four is this one. So I'm gonna say super shift four, it's gone from here and it's going to pop up in here. So it is um, it is rather neat to have a easy way to just move things along. If you said, I wanna keep uh, in here super F5, this is gonna be my melt, but I've made a mistake, it should be in super four and, and I move it, you can just move it around one, two, three, four, it's gonna be in here. And this one maybe should go to super shift seven. And that's how we uh, navigate or how we switch things from, from workspace to workspace. And, and that in the sense, this could be everything that's browsers, editors, anything that's GIMP and Inkscape and etc. etc. You design in your brain, you say, okay, I'll have that application on that particular um, workspace. That's how it works. So yes, there is an advantage in changing the code. So the code, let's us check it one last time to just say it. In, in here, we've just done this switch, say, okay, forget about QWERTY and let's go for Azerti. And now I'm doing just the, way, the other way around. So I'm going back to QWERTY. This is for QWERTY keyboards and this one is out again. So I'm back on QWERTY at this point in time. All right. So that's um, why it is handy to have it around if you have an Azerti, of course, only for Azerti guys to change it. All right, cheers.